Okay, the camera's recording now. You must be feeling a bit nervous. A lot of people do their first time. This isn't exactly my first time on camera. Oh, great, then let's get into it. How about we start with you introducing yourself? Okay, um, do you want me to look at the camera when I do it? Yeah, that'd be a great, good idea. Okay, um, hi, my name is Brandon Harding, and I just turned 18 years old. Wow, great name choice. <clears throat> so perfect for this industry. Now let's bring someone in for you to work with. Thanks, it just came to my head one day, and you know what? Um, I wouldn't worry about that because I brought my own scene partner. Good morning guys, Will here. Welcome to the video. We got a coffee on deck and I am in the pool for the first time of the year. So after a winter full of water play, we'll see if my swimming has improved. So I'm a bit nervous for my first swim. You know, the deep end I've been used to lately is only about six inches, but we will see. So I have Patrick behind the camera. He has this alongside him because I'm not the best swimmer. So this is gonna be added to my cardio rotation going forward. So the plan today is to do 10 lengths of the pool. There and back is one. And then over the week, over the course of the month, it's gonna add slowly a couple laps, potentially start swimming for time. We'll see. See, so we're gonna do some cardio and then make some breakfast. Okay guys, so first lap of the day, I'm gonna swim all the way there, then I want you guys to pause the video and then comment down below from one to 10, how good of a swimmer you think I am, okay? Here we go. Be nice guys, be nice. No negative numbers, okay? No negative numbers. Oh. What do you guys think about the, the Gymshark bathing suits? Nice and skin tight? Huh? huh? Yeah, the vacuum! Stupid vacuum? I just swallowed a damn pond. <coughs> okay, we're done. I have been on a roll lately coming up with some breakfast recipes. I literally have a different breakfast every single day. So this recipe we are making is like a potato kind of breakfast cake and I'm gonna top it off with an egg. So the first thing you gotta do is take a baked potato. This is 175 grams. I'm gonna puncture it like that. And I'm gonna pop it into the microwave for seven minutes and this is just a very fast way to bake a potato because if you put it in the oven, you're pretty much waiting for like 45 minutes. So this is just a very quick way. Seven minutes has elapsed and we have ourselves a beautiful squishy potato. We're gonna toss that into the bowl and now we are gonna assemble this thing. So I'm gonna turn on my scale and we are gonna add 40 to 50 grams of some non-fat Greek yogurt. There we go, 50 grams, damn, okay. Then we're gonna go in with a little bit of veggies. I had sauteed up some onions and some bell peppers and go in with pretty much all of that. Good. I have one serving of some part skim cheese, which is 30 grams going in as well. I have some cilantro and then I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of chili flakes because I like it spicy. Good. And then of course, salt and pepper. And then last but not least, one full entire egg and then we're gonna mash the shit out of it. go and let's do it don't want to do that it's macros man so I had the pan preheating I'm gonna add the batter to the pan and then we're gonna form it into the shape that we want so I'm gonna press it down see look at that crispiness after you flip it amazing so I have another pan preheating and I'm gonna add Another whole egg. And I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes. And beautiful breakfast. You guys already know. Frank's Red Hot. So the calories of the entire plate right here is 455 calories. You are looking at 30 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, 
and a whopping 15 grams of fat. And this meal is gonna keep you full. Cause if I could think of five foods that keep me the most full, one of the top two is potatoes and eggs. So definitely try this one out. Let's see how I did here on the yolk porn. Oh yeah. Damn. Thank you. All right guys, so we're at the gym right now with my man Brandon Harding. We're gonna do a nice push session today, right? We are indeed, yeah. yeah. So you're at like eight weeks out from a show? Eight weeks, eight and a half weeks out. Eight weeks out, so this guy's pretty shredded right now, so I may have to keep uh, this on. So we're gonna be starting the push day off with some cable fly, so this is like pre-exhausting for the press? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so how many sets and reps? This is usually gonna be like three sets warming up, probably like 15, 20 reps. Okay. And then we're gonna go straight over to dumbbells, because typically I start on bench, but we're gonna do something different today. Okay. And just try and like max out everything on the dumbbells. Yeah. Maxing out. If, if that's cool with you. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean, this guy, we were like, went to the dumbbells. He looks and he's like, the 120s, he's like, it's okay. We can, <laughs> like, we can play with those. We can play with them. We'll, with we'll toss them around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so we just finished pre-exhausting with cable flies, so now we're gonna move on to a slight incline dumbbell press. So I asked Brandon how many reps, and he just said all of them. We're only gonna be doing three sets. Three sets. Um, so make the most of those three sets we got them. We're honestly, at, I guess first set will be like 15 reps, then 12, then 10 or eight. Come on. Five. Is that five? Five. You got it. Oh. So close. I'll so take close. it. Okay, moving on to exercise number three. We're doing a machine chest press, one arm at a time. Single arm, yeah. Single arm at a time. And you're saying that we're gonna turn inward towards it so you get more of a squeeze if, as opposed to just being like this, right? Exactly, exactly. Because like, you know, if you're, Re re like restricted to the, I guess, mechanics of the machine, you're pressing and you're like, that's where you can't bring it in any closer, right? So we're gonna be moving into the machine, allowing more of like a contraction, because that's what we're, we're ideally looking for. <laughs> Squeeze in it. <laughs> we'll put some music over this part. Let's put the music on. See, this is like a whole new territory of training for me. Yeah? I'm usually just like an incline. A flat bench and I go home. Some people go to the same gym their whole life yeah. and they're doing the same things over and over again. So maybe look at the machine and say, like, how could I do that a bit different? How could I like, you know, transform this into a completely new thing while using the same piece of machinery? I'm going to be kind of, uh, if you could clean just right over there. Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. do that. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing now? We're doing the guillotine press? We are. We are so guillotine good. press is for like, like, we're going like pretty high up. A guillotine is another word for a dangerous incline press. Okay, so we're doing the guillotine press, 15 reps, then uh, Brandon decided to throw in a little bit of a treat. So right after we finish this, we're gonna go over to the bench and do close grip push-ups to failure, right? Yes. Failure, perfect. Up, oh, let's go. Up, oh, come push.
So I would, oh, what am I doing? I feel like I'm doing a shoulder press. <laughs> so I would say this is kind of like a behind the neck press, so you probably wouldn't recommend this to a lot of people, right? Because it's pretty like a compromise kind of position. If you don't have good shoulder health, yeah. You know. Come on. Yes. Come on. You got it. Oh. Squeeze them hard as you can. Oh my god. How many sets that? Three? We'll do two. Okay, thank you. That was a lot. <laughs> thank, we'll you. thank you. <laughs> Last one. Up. Yeah. Woo. Holy shit. That was a wicked super set. <laughs> That's an animal. First shoulder exercise, we're going to be doing a tricep. So we're going to do side raises, then rear delt raises, and then we're going to be doing some partials that concentrate the tension on the rear delt. It's not really a side raise or a rear delt fly. It's more so just like what well, you'll see it's like pulsating rear delt pumps. Don't retract your scapula too much, just four rear delts. If anything, you can bring your arms out wide more. Yes. One. These are the hardest ones, but they're the easiest ones. Yeah, right. Okay, so we just finished a shoulder tri set. So now we're gonna move on to the press of the day. We're just gonna do a Smith Machine press. Yeah. And we're just gonna go like three sets. Yeah, three sets. That. No particular rep range for this as well. This is more because our, our shoulders are like honestly like yeah. you know we've done one shoulder exercise, well three in one, and because we did chest, I feel like my friend doubts are kind of taxed. Yeah. This is gonna be like the last thing we do for shoulders. So we're just gonna get the most out of it that we can, and then we're gonna move on to triceps. Last exercise of the day. Is this last one? It is. It is, thank God. So we're doing a tricep superset. Yeah. And we're doing a push down, and then mm -hmm. we're gonna superset rate right to over the head rope extensions. Yes. Three sets, four sets, 10 sets? Three sets. Three sets Three to sets. failure? Yeah. Failure, okay. Well, the first one will be like the, the V push down, will be like 12 to 15. Yeah. But then we're gonna burn out on this. Okay. Yeah, considering we're only doing like one exercise split up into like a, like a superset, yeah. we'll just do as much as we can. Okay. Push day. My arms feel like ramen for sure. Yeah, I find too. All right, guys. So we are out front of the low carb grocery right now. So when I think of Walden Farms, Brandon, do you just think of the maple syrup? Exactly. I think of just the maple syrup. Like that's pretty much it. But they actually have a ton of other products. So we're gonna get Jordy and Patrick to go into the store, and they're gonna pick out some Walden Farms products for us to do a little blind taste test, and we are gonna see if we can successfully distinguish what they're trying to emulate. What the flavor is? Yeah. Will likes his coffee, so got they got more. some coffee enhancers. Wow. I think, oh, this sounds bougie. Pear, pear and white balsamic. That actually does sound really bougie. Okay. Four things down so far. We have chocolate sauce, maple bacon, and then a vanilla coffee creamer. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> All right, whipped peanut butter spread. Knock off peanut butter honestly normally tastes like shit. Oh, you can't say that on. Okay, bleep me out. <laughs> 
last item here. We found this marshmallow dip. We're gonna go test these out on the boys. Let's go. This is great. Thanks. Good. I think it's a good look for both of you. You should stick with it. Yeah. yeah. Would you love that? Yeah. Cool. So we got two dudes, two tummies, and we are gonna see if we can successfully distinguish the Walden Farms products. So Jordy and Patrick are gonna be giving us some spoonfuls, and then we're gonna take a guess. I will say though, I have, I have like done a bunch of these on the channel, and I've never won one. So this could, this is my chance, but it could be my moment. Okay. There's gonna be a forfeit as well. So essentially. We're trying to think of a decent forfeit. Whoever guesses the least amount of flavors right has to take a shot of the fish tank. We're ready. Okay. Bring it in. Yeah, yeah. You want to just feed us? No. Three, two, <laughs> one. Learning things. Ooh. Something did not go right here. <laughs> that wasn't. That wasn't. It was okay, but I feel like I'm being poisoned. Then. <laughs> I mean, I think that this is a, a, a freaking salad dressing, but no salad I've ever tossed would be enhanced with this. Like I can, t it's, there's a smokiness to it. Yo, I got something completely different. You do? What I do got like garlicky, creamy, buttery. Dude, you're whack, bro. <laughs> Three, two, one, hickory Dark. barbecue. No. No. Both wrong? What was it? What is it? Maple bacon syrup. Maple bacon? That's syrup? That was terrible. <laughs> that was fake pork. <laughs> it was like yeah. blended, liquefied pig's ears. Yeah, oh. You know, I was excited for this, but now I'm also yeah, I'm frightened sorry. for this. Oh, this is. Why have you given it like the wrong way around? <laughs> you trying to make this hard for me? You ready? Here you went. <laughs> oh, you, you went? Bro, that's, that's gonna send your what? mouth for a trip. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh. do, you, do you honestly think that they know they're serving this? Ugh. I gotta go back in for some reason. It tastes like Jolly Ranchers, dude. Like, a, like a, a green apple. It tasted vinegary. Did you get any of that? Yeah, it has some tang, yo. It has some tang. Th th this is, this shouldn't be edible. They shouldn't serve this, whatever it was. I guess like it's like a distracting sauce. Like you could put that on something that you don't want to be doing. You could, and it would. Yeah, if I was trying to like, if I if I was trying to give someone some food and piss them off, I'd give them this. Three, two, one, a thousand Ranch. islands dressing. No. Pear what? and white balsamic. 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 Pear and what? White, white balsamic. balsamic. That's oh, that was disgusting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't enjoyable at all. Yo, they sell some crazy shit. Why why y'all gagging back there? <laughs> yeah. Yo, whatever's next, they're pouring it and gagging. Okay. Yeah. Sniff it first. Sniff it first. Oh, that's thick on the tongue. That's a spread. I feel like this is trying to be a, a nut butter, but this is a nut I've never met. That's disgusting. The nut, the nut, it's a sneaky nut. It's an elusive nut. I can't do it. Can't do it? No, I don't like that. Three, yeah. two, one, chocolate, chocolate peanut nut. butter. Wait, what? Chocolate peanut butter. I said chocolate nut. No, it's whipped peanut butter spread. What? <laughs> <laughs> How did we taste chocolate? Yeah, man. Yeah, that was horrible. Like, I've like had my, like, my mouth in a, a lot of stuff, but that... <laughs> that was horrible. No. Why did you do that? I feel like I'm losing my will to eat <laughs> the rest of the day. I actually don't want any more. You gotta investigate like a dog. Smell it? Investigate like a dog. Oh, this one actually smells... Yeah, it does. Three, two... I got my guess. Oh, that's a harsh aftertaste, yo. Okay. Three, Three, two, two one. Vanilla, co syrup. vanilla coffee creamer. You got it. Will. Who? You. you. Vanilla coffee creamer. Oh my Is god. Is it actually vanilla? Yeah. yeah. It's fresh vanilla. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, I thought it was strawberry syrup, like strawberry flavored syrup. Strawberry. strawberry. Yeah. That pond water that I can't see is looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon the pond water is going to taste like? Like, like <laughs> goose poop and paddle boards. <laughs> okay. My stomach is churning, yo. Yeah. I, okay. I don't feel good, by the way. Yeah. Second last one. Okay. Man, I feel like I have, mouth, I have wronged my mouth in so many ways. Right <laughs> I don't now. want to put it in my mouth. I don't want it anymore. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh. <laughs> went all in. Ah, that was revolting. Okay. If this is tomato sauce, this is the most redneck tomato sauce I've ever, <laughs> I've ever experienced. You know what I mean? This is, this is gross, bro. <laughs> Why are they selling this? Three, two, one, chocolate Tomato. caramel. What is it? Chocolate sauce. Just straight up? Yeah. I hate chocolate. Man, I use that stuff all the time and by itself, my goodness. That was terrible. 
Well, don't say that. It's going to be for everyone. Okay. Next one's in front of you. I hope you're right. I hope so, too. I'm still... I'm going to go in, like, the whole thing again. Oh. Bro, it no, smells what, like an What the fuck is that? It smells like an adhesive, Don't eat dude. this one. Don't eat it. Don't do it. It smells like it's like glue. Lick it, man. It's like cheese. <laughs> No, I will gag. Man, I don't like. It's okay. Right? I don't. I don't like things anymore. <laughs> Three, two, one. one. Vanilla marshmallow. marshmallow. Did. You did you say vanilla marshmallow? Yeah. It's like a vanilla. What marshmallow. is it? What did you say? I said marshmallow dip. Okay, so Will got the name and title completely right. Did I actually? What is it? Yeah, marshmallow it's marshmallow dip. dip. But is it vanilla? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's okay, my friend. Right. That was my first blinded victory. Yeah, you, you gotta be slow when you take these off, okay? The, the light gets you. Did you? Oh, you already did. <laughs> <laughs> it's already done. Oh. All right, pond water. You're actually doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. You're the Poor man. fish. Okay, ready? Oh. Was it right? Was it? Wasn't that bad? I mean, comparable to what we just had. Yeah, good. actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's refreshing because um, I've just experienced so many different flavors. That was obviously like dirty water. Yeah. But it tasted better than what we just had. I feel like that's gonna like man. That's how bad it was. I feel like that's gonna yeah. manifest in my body for like the rest of time. Woolen Farms maple syrup is still the OG. Yeah, I would agree. I like I, I think they, they actually it was worse than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't good. Yeah. I wouldn't, any anything we just had, don't buy it. Yeah. I hundred percent. And if you do buy it, then you should look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Just make sure whatever you're putting on is worth it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So that is gonna wrap up the video here. I'm with Brandon. That was like, what would you get that out of ten? Like the Brolden Farm. So, uh, like we, like a like a like a like a sub one. A I sub think. one. I I would totally 100% agree. So, absolute sick, dude. Pleasure hanging out with them oh, today. Yeah, Pleasure, you know, like you know, breaking your blindfold virginity. Yeah, of course. I mean, it was an experience, but I'm definitely gonna take these, you know, these lessons that you've taught me today yeah. and apply them to my um, my life. So yeah. thank you for teaching me them. Yeah. And I'm just definitely not gonna take the putting things in my mouth blindfolded though, unless it's one thing, but. Yeah. I mean, if you need the money, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, his channel is gonna be in the description. Definitely check it out, sick dude. And we're gonna have to do some more stuff together. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.